Hi, this is Ron with the Code Guys. Today I want to talk about how to save a Word document, um, change the document properties, and add a file name footer. This is Office 2007. Here we have a basic Word document. Notice that by default in the title bar it says that it's document 1. And so we are asked to save it as um, project1 underscore in your last name. So for Office 2007 we go to the Office button come down to what save or save as well if it's never been saved before there is no difference between those two either one will give you the save as dialog box so notice by default it's called document one um, and what we want to do is put in a new name for the document we are told to call it project one underscore and I put in an underscore just so it looks like that there is um, a blank space. Um, then you need to look for your storage device and so if you're using an external storage device you'll find it here. Um, I'm actually just using a folder that I created called my storage and so now save as where it's going in my storage it's called project one underscore Robertson Microsoft Word automatically adds a dot DOCX to the end of it and so I click Save and now you notice in the title bar it says project one underscore Robertson so we've saved this document correctly now we want to change the document properties and so to do that you go to the office button come down to prepare slide over and up to properties and I've already filled out these document properties by putting my name in as author, um, putting project one as the title, putting ITE 115 as the subject in this case, and then for the comments I generally will put whatever today's date is. The author um, will usually have written in um, the name of the person whose computer this is. For it might, so for example it might be Jack who's your roommate or it might say TCC if it's Tidewater Community College. Anyway you want to change these things and then close the document properties um, dialog box and those things are saved with the document also. Alright so you've saved it correctly you've changed the document properties and now let's scroll down to the bottom to give it a file name footer so we scroll to the bottom and then at the bottom of the document you want to right click and click on edit footer and when you do that notice that you're taken off the home ribbon and now you're on the design ribbon and you're in the header and footer tools so from here you want to come over to quick parts come down to field you're adding a field and then scroll through this list of fields and the one we're looking for is file name and the formatting for that will just accept whatever it is um, in this case it means that however we saved it it's a, that's the way it's going to be uppercase or lowercase and then click OK and so there's your file name footer at the bottom of the page and then to get out of this footer area just double click back in your document and you scroll back to the top and so then if you scroll down you will see that the file name footer is sort of grayed out and so that's what you get when you save correctly and change the document properties and add a file name footer so thank you all for watching stay tuned for upcoming videos and don't forget to rate subscribe and comment until the next time this is Ron with the code guys